hello guys welcome back to another episode of my video this is the great tech in this channel we discuss about tech related videos phone repairs both hardware and software so if you're coming across my video for the first time and you find this video interesting don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like this video all right so if you want to learn more about phone repairs you can actually join my telegram vip group where i do post a lot of private videos that i don't post on this channel so you can actually send me a message on the number showing on your screen all right so without further ado let's dive straight to the business of today all right guys today i'm going to show you how to fix a mobile phone display ic fault it's not the mobile phone is turning on but it's not displaying all right so first of all let me show you this illustration thing first if you encounter this kind of problem the first thing you need to do is to turn on the mobile phone as you can see the mobile phone is being turned on now if you check very well look concentrate on the display you will notice that the techno icon is actually showing very like on the screen but the mobile phone is not displaying the light is not displaying very well so let me, let me show you let me show you like let me use this arrow to indicate it and that's yellow arrow you will notice that the techno icon is actually displaying but the light is not that bright like it's not supposed to be like this the brightness you want to turn it on a mobile phone on the brightness is supposed to display the graphics very well but what is just displaying there is just that techno like it's very dim all right so i'm going to show you how to fix this problem how to rectify this problem step by step on how to rectify this particular issue so make sure you watch the very end to understand how the procedure is done don't skip any part in order for you to understand how it's done so the first step you want to take as a mobile phone professional engineer is to consult your schematic diagram all right so the schematic diagram will enable you to head straight to where to know the particular location on the mobile phone PCB, all right, where that display IC is located at, in order for you not to be stressing yourself looking for the display IC. So I'm not going to make a very detailed video about schematic diagram on this video because I've already made a video, a separate video on that. You can actually contact me on the number showing on your screen, my WhatsApp number, all right. So to join my Telegram community where you can actually get access to most of those videos. So I'm just going to head straight to where the fault is on the mobile phone. All right. So I've already consulted my schematic diagram and I knew where the display IC is. All right. So let's just head straight to where the fault is. So having known where the display IC is with the help of a schematic diagram, the next thing you want to do, you want to dismantle the mobile phone PCB. All right. And then get your multimeter and start to troubleshooting. All right, to know where the particular fault of the phone not displaying is coming from. So from the schematic diagram, we already know that this particular IC is the light driver IC, which is responsible for bringing lights to the phone, mobile phone display. All right, so that's mobile phone not as this mobile phone is not displaying. It should be from this particular driver IC. Either this IC is faulty or the pins are not properly connected maybe there's an open circuit so we are going to use a multimeter to check each and every pin the terminal of this ic to see if they are properly connected to the motherboard all right so before using the multimeter set it at the continuity mode then check if the multimeter is working by joining the two probe together to see if it produces a beep sound all right so let's join the two multimeter probe together as can see it produces a sound all right so first we are going to check the number six which is the v in all right the v in is the positive terminal where the positive terminal is connected to the light driver ic all right so we are going to use the multimeter to check the continuity if it's actually reading As you can see, it's giving us a good reading, all right? It's giving us a good reading. That is to say, it's actually connected to the logic board, all right? So the next terminal I want to check is the terminal 3, which is the GND, right? The GND stands for ground. That is the negative terminal of the battery. So we'll check if it's connected to the logic board. It's supposed to give us a beep sound. All right, as you can see, it's giving us a beep sound, yeah? So the next terminal will be the feedback which is the number one 
so the feedback is actually connected to the cathode terminal of the LED all right which is the negative terminal of the lights that is response the component responsible for displaying light on any screen all right so that is what we call LED light emitting diode all right so that is where the feedback is actually connected to so we are going to use our multimeter to check the continuity all right so as you can see from there is beeping and is giving us reading all right it's beeping and it's giving us reading and the reading is four ohms so actually it's actually connected all right so we'll move for a forward to another terminal now the next terminal we are going to check is the switch all right the switch so we are going to read it to see check the reading So I can see the reading is giving us 299 all right it's giving us a good reading and note that this um the switch and the v in is connected to the boost coil all right so this boost coil helps to enhance the voltage going to the the light all right the led all right so this boost coil is very important sometimes it's 40 the light may not display so next we are going to check the control which is the terminal 5 all right to check the reading Now the reading is giving us a good reading, which is G73. Alright, it's giving us a good reading. So after we have successfully checked and confirmed all those connections that they are properly connected, the next thing we want to do, we want to check if the connection is being completed, like if the connection ran completely to the other side of the PCB, alright, which is the back side of the PCB. So guys, before we continue with troubleshooting, alright. As I said earlier, if you want to learn more about mobile for repairs, want to master how to use a multimeter schematic diagram and other tons of tutorials more sophisticated than this one, more advanced than this one I'm doing, you can actually send me a message on the number shown on your screen, all right, to join my WhatsApp group and my Telegram platform where you, I have tons of videos that I don't expose on this channel, all right. So once you are, be, you are my student, you have full eligible rights to have access to most of those videos all right so let's continue what we're doing so after checking all this stuff and those terminals are connected the next thing we want to do we want to check this v in that is the positive terminal where the positive terminal of the battery is connected to the light driver ic the backlight ic so we are going to check we are going to turn over the other part of the board to check the battery terminal if they are connected using the mod setting the multimeter the continuity mode to test it all right you can see from the reading and the multimeter is beeping that is to say they are actually connected all right so there's no broken connection between that battery terminal and the light driver ic so finally, the final troubleshooting we are going to do is to consult our schematic diagram again and our board view, all right, to know the line of connection of the LED, which is the lights responsible for um, displaying um, brightness on the mobile phone, all right. So once you have launched your PCB layout on your PC, the first thing you want to do, you want to head straight over to the FPC connector, which is the screen connector to know the line of connection of the LED, which is the light responsible for displaying um, brightness on the mobile phone. All right, now, as you can see from this image here, this is where the light connection is, all right? If you notice very well on the diagram, you notice the yellow line is written LUCM LEDA, all right? That LEDA means the anode, that is the anode part of the LED. All right, which is which signifies the positive terminal of the LED. So that is where it's connected. That is that pin on that clip on that um, FPC clip. That is where it's being connected to. All right. So why the other one that is showing red? The red one below this particular one. That one is is written LCM LEDK, which means LED cathode. The cathode means um the negative terminal of the LED which is the light responsible for um bringing displaying lights on the screen all right so that which knowing having knowing those line the numbers the that that is where it's being connected to now we are going to trace it to the IC all right all right so now just take note of the yellow and red line that is what we are tracing 
remember that the yellow is for the um anode while the red is for the cathode all right so i'm going to zoom this a little bit for you to see it very clearly all right so as you can see the cathode which is the negative terminal of the led the light is connected to the pin one of this light driver ic all right which is the feedback the pin one as i explained earlier so it's connected to that particular pin all right so we are going to go straight second to the um the other um terminal which is the other line which is the yellow line all right which is the anode so as you can see from the connection of the yellow line which is the anode of the LED, the positive terminal of the LED, it's actually connected to this capacitor. Now, from this capacitor, it's connected straight to this negative terminal of this diode. Now, the diode that is the cathode of the diode, the negative terminal of the diode. Now, if you check where with the, well, this light driver IC, all right, the switch and the V in, all right, is connected to is they are like they are connected together like to this particular boost coil then they are now connected to the positive terminal of this diode now remember diode allow current electric current to flow in one direction now the voltage will flow in one direction straight to this capacitor then back to the yellow line that will de deliver the voltage straight to the the connector that is the screen connector all right so if there's any broken connection there it will not work it will not work so that is just how the basic is so now after knowing how the light is being connected with the help of our schematic diagram and our pcb layout we need to check if there's an open circuit where the, there's a broken connection on the logic board all right using our multimeter all right following the direction of the connection on the schematic diagram all right so from schematic diagram i showed you that these two points are the cathode all right why this particular point is the anode which is the positive terminal of the light all right so i've known that the next thing we need to do is to check if the anode and the cathode which is the positive and negative terminal of the light is connected properly to the logic board and to do that we just need to use our multimeter grant our positive probe and use the negative probe to check the continuity all right so first of all we'll be checking the cathode to see if it's connected so as you can see on the multimeter it's showing red sign that is beeping and it's giving us a reading of five ohms all right which was the initial reading the first time we tested it when we were testing the light driver ic all right so that is to say the cathode is actually connected properly to the logic board so the next time i want to check is the positive probe which is the anode all right so we are going to use our negative terminal of our multimeter to place it there all right so let's do that so as you can see it's not giving us any reading at all it's not giving us any reading it's not giving us any reading so i guess that is where the fault is coming from there is a broken connection understand it's not giving us any reading at all all right it's not giving us any reading on the multimeter so there is a broken connection there so we are going to trace the broken connection all right now having known the major source of the problem which is the broken connection of the positive terminal of the led which is the light so we are going to trace it back to the driver ic all right remember i said the positive terminal of the light is connected to that switch the that the terminal 4 of the driver ic all right so we are going to know where there's a broken connection from starting re our reading from this the particular terminal now remember from our schematic diagram that this um the pin four of this driver ic is actually connected to this diode all right which is the positive terminal of this diode all right why the other terminal is the negative terminal which is the cathode now quickly let me explain something if i my vip class you understand what i'm trying to say you see diode allow current to flow in one direction all right so once current pass through this light driver ic to go to the positive terminal of the diode then flow from the negative terminal to these two capacitor then to this capacitor then it will now flow directly to the positive terminal of the led which is the light positive terminal of the light in other words that is to say this negative terminal of this diode is connected to the positive terminal of the lights 
display or like the LED. All right. The next thing we want to do, I've been knowing this, we want to check if the connection is being is complete. So let's go back to under the microscope to check this reading. Remember, I said the negative terminal of this diode, all right, is connected to the positive terminal of the LED, that is the light, the lights, the screen lights, all right. So now we are going to use our multimeter, set it at diode mode, place the negative probe to the negative terminal of the diode now and Take the positive probe of the multimeter and place it at the positive terminal of the FPC light, I am um, light terminal to see if it will read. All right, so that is what you are doing. As you can see, there is no reading on the multimeter, that is to say, there is an open circuit there. The connection is not complete. All right, there is no reading. Let's check again. So it's not giving us any reading at all. Now, remember that also this capacitor from the schematic diagram is connected to the diode all right it's connected to the diode and it's also connected to the positive terminal of the LED all right that is the light all right so we are going to use our multimeter to read the the capacitor direct as you can see the, the multimeter is beeping is beeping that is to say it's connected as to say the capacitor is connected but the diode terminal is not connected so we are going to check so as you can see the board under the microscope you observe that the terminal of the diode is not looking good it's not looking good at all it looks rust and this may be as a result of water damage maybe it has been exposed to moisture initially these two terminals are supposed to be connected but it's not connected anymore all right so we are going to do some jumping we are going to bridge these two terminals together to see if the connection will be completed all right So as you can see, they are now connected. They have been bridged with using the jump power and they are now connected, all right? So now let's take it out from the under the microscope and try turning on the mobile phone to see if it will turn on, all right? So the next thing is to couple the mobile phone. There's no need to even test it. I have a strong feeling that that is the fault. That is where the fault is coming from, all right? So the next thing is to couple the mobile phone, like couple it back, connect your battery and turn it on. See if it will turn on. All right. As you can see, boom, the mobile phone now is working. It's working, it's working, it's working perfectly. So if this video is helpful, if you find value in this video, don't forget to like this video. Drop a comment on the comment section. If you want to learn more about mobile phone repair, you want to learn how to repair like a pro, Join my Telegram community. Send me a message on the WhatsApp showing your screen. I have an online class going on. All right, you can join and be part of the people that will benefit more on that. I told you earlier that most of my important videos are being posted on those platforms, not on my YouTube channel. All right, so till next time, bye bye.